Roughly two million Americans will spend the holidays behind bars, including here at Virginia Beach Correctional. While it may be a bittersweet time for the inmates, for the ministers who visit, they remind them that the holidays offer the beauty of God's forgiveness. What we do is we put chaplains in jails where they belong. Yep. But working in a jail is a very difficult thing. And so we try to help the staff and the deputies understand we're not just here for the inmates. We're here for people. And God loves people. More than a thousand inmates are calling this jail home. Most are first time offenders and Chaplain Joe Kelty serves as their lifeline to hope. And that's the intersection, you know, it's the Great Commission. Help other people get through their stuff and find God in the midst of their, tr of their struggles. Kelty is part of the Good News Jail and Prison Ministry, a nonprofit network of 400 chaplains in 25 states. The volunteers preach the gospel and help people of all faith backgrounds cope with life in jail. One of the more moving uh, parts of the job is when uh, an inmate finds out that a loved one has died on the outside. And here they are in jail, and they can't be with the family. That's some of the more difficult conversations, but also the most meaningful. Today is Christmas time in the jail. Volunteers are spreading good cheer in the form of Christmas cards and postage, new socks, cookies, and an activity book with the gospel message. I have more faith now than I did ever. 32-year-old Jesus has been in jail for nine months, with another six months to go. He says the only thing he wants for Christmas is patience to finish out his sentence. He has delivered me from so many things. You know, my life could have been worse, and I know I'm in a situation right now that is not very good looking, but I'm alive. You know, I still got a second chance, and that's the grace of him. The chaplain program is one of a handful made available to the inmates during their time here and one that gives them hope when everything else might seem hopeless. Your life is essentially over. If ever there was a time that you would turn to God, it's probably when you're going through something like that. It's pretty remarkable. The folks that are incarcerated in here are, are, are paying a debt to society, and we understand that. And, uh, but they're human beings as well, and, and they certainly deserve to have that, that vision of hope, that, that there's something outside of here and that they can certainly turn their lives around. In Matthew, Jesus says, I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then his disciples looked at Jesus and said, Lord, when did we do these things? Jesus replied, truly I say to you, when you have done so to one of the least of these, you have also done so to me. Now, Chaplain Kelty says we see the heart of God in that passage, and he's inviting everyone this holiday season to bless their communities by blessing others. I'm Brody Carter, CBN News.